Hello, this is Tom from anti-boton.com and I'm coming from a friend's um, kind of like their garage, they have a bunch of junk in here and anyway, um, I found something right there that I thought you might find interesting. As you know, everybody knows I'm paranoid of radiation so of course I won't get too close to it. As you can see I'm measuring 0.116 micro sievert per hour, 0.114, nothing dangerous. This is probably Vaseline glass. It's slightly radioactive. radioactive. Radioactive enough to scare the heck out of me, but you know what I mean. I already said I'm kind of paranoid. Hopefully BioNerd doesn't watch this and make fun of me, because I am that paranoid of radiation. But anyway... As you can see, that is completely and totally, absolutely radioactive. If you hold that there for a little while, the Geiger counter will, will read all the way up to um, one microsievert total. Let's see if I can flip this upside down and it works, maybe. I hope that's upside down for you guys. There you go. That is a radioactive item. There it goes. But anyway, yeah, I have a natural uh, fear and phobia of radiation. So... I am naturally afraid of this. And I don't mind admitting it. Honestly, it's not a terrible phobia to have. Although I do realize that these levels are not particularly dangerous. The biggest danger of this type of glass is the leakage of um, uranium out of it as a result of like uh, acidic stuff. You eat acidic food. See, we're about to cross the threshold. Come on now. Hit me, hit, hit. Come on, hit it. Hit one. One sievert. Well, no, sorry, not one sievert. <laughs> one micro sievert. If this is one sievert, I'd probably puke my guts out and, you know, die or something pretty soon. Now, this will hit uh, 0.1 micro sievert. So, we're getting there. Come on now. Don't expose me for too long. Come on. Come on. Be radioactive for Tom. Alright, well, apparently it's not going to do it today so close but it's not gonna now as you can see as I get away it stops the reader will still stay high for a while because it's all pegged out but the ticking goes down now if I get closer Oh, hitting it at an angle. Let's go straight down. There. At about an inch or two, it starts getting pretty bad. There you go. Pull away. It cuts down. In fact, using the cross section right here might be just about as effective, if not more so. Because it's, there's probably gamma mixed in it as well. But anyway, no, I'm shooting a video. <laughs> so, anyway, as you can see, there it is. This, of course, is the CRM100 Geiger counter. And, God help me for holding it, there is a piece of uranium glass. <laughs> yeah, I don't like holding it too much. This is what it means to be paranoid or radioactive stuff. But... As you can see, the Geiger counter works just fine. Let's see if this is high enough for counts per second. It may actually be the first time I've ever gotten a counts per second reading. Well, no, there was that one other time. Come on. Probably not enough for a counts per second. Anyway, so as you can see, it's a uh, probably a weak beta emitter and probably an, oh, there we go. And probably an occasional gamma emitter. Obviously not alpha. Well, you know, I take it back. It could be alpha that close. But aluminum foil won't, um, won't do anything for it. I'll have to put a mini, mini sheets to block this stuff. All right. Well, anyhow, um, that's probably about enough for me. So this is Tom from anti-proton.com. Uh, being paranoid and signing off. Bye-bye.